Uh, welcome back to uh, the York Carolina show. Living Upstate segment this week, the Anderson International Festival kicks off a three month celebration on Tuesday, January 4th with a German style event featuring German music, food and a downtown pub crawl. We have Carol and Beverly here to tell us more about the event presented by Anderson area sister cities. Thank you so much for being here, guys. We appreciate it. You're welcome. We're delighted to be with you. Yeah, we, we love a, a good German celebration. You guys are kicking it off right on Tuesday. Yes, uh, we are. So tell us how this all came about. Why a German celebration? Well, uh, Beverly's been involved with the international festival events in previous years. But this year when we when Sister Cities decided to present the festival, uh, we thought about what a, what do we need to emphasize in Anderson? And mm -hmm. there's lots of German investment in mm -hmm. Anderson County and in the upstate. Sure. And so we landed on Germany. Yeah, well, you started with Germany, but you got it's a three month celebration. So I'm yes. assuming you'll tap in to other cultures and uh, show some things through the museums no. and stuff like that. We will have uh, things at the museum. We'll have a German exhibit uh, at the museum. We have things all over the county. Mm -hmm. The Art Center is having certainly an art show that will feature German artists. Mm -hmm. uh, our exhibit is featuring actually the Von Hoslin family who did the big 1897 map of Anderson County. But this festival started in 2006 with a Russian celebration. Mm -hmm. And every two years since then, except last year, of course, we had to skip last year because of COVID, but we've gone from Russia to a Celtic uh, celebration. West Africa was in 2010, which was fabulous. The drums <laughs> were just great. Yeah. So Nothing. You pick a particular culture yes. each year. Each yeah. year. Yes. Focus and it, in on Germany. Yes. Right. Year. And I yes. think it's fascinating, Correct. too, to, to talk about the tie-ins of uh, the German community to our community and how they're, you know, because we, we see the, the BMWs and all right. of this that, yeah. that's going on here, and uh, it, it's, it ties in quite nicely. So to talk about that is really great. Uh, you mentioned in the Anderson Arts. They're going to be doing something. You guys have some breweries. You can't talk German without talking breweries, right? All right. And that that's how we want to kick off the event. So on Tuesday evening, and it's going to be great weather, mm -hmm. especially when you think of Germany. I always think about it being a little chilly. A little chilly, So it's going to yeah. be about 50 degrees. You'll wear your coat, and we're going to have um, music. We're going to have a food truck that's going to have uh, Reuben Burger, Smash Burger, and um, the famous Brockwurst. <laughs> and then uh, we'll have some dignitaries there. It's sort of the ribbon cutting of the mm -hmm. festival. Right. Well, where is it going to be exactly? Downtown Anderson. It will start at the Arts Center okay. on Tuesday at 5. And then from 5 to 8, there will be music, food, mm -hmm. and a pub crawl. We're not talking rock and roll. We're talking <laughs> oompa. Yes. A little oompa. <laughs> exactly. Like, bring your yes. own lederhosen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> bring your own lederhosen. This is great. Um, Carolina uh, Bonner House is involved in that as well. Electric City Brewing and Magnetic South. Yes. You can go to all three breweries <laughs> and get some great German mm -hmm. uh, drink. Awesome. Is there anything we need to prepare for? Anything we need to think about before we go? Tickets in advance? Is everything free to at least get in and then you buy your own tickets to the, the bar crawl and all that? Yes. What you'll do is at the food truck, everything is $10, all mm -hmm. three options. And then at the pub crawl, you'll pay for your drinks, whatever you desire to have. I for love libations. That. Very easy. Great, great for families to come out and learn something too about the community. And uh, I always think you're a better person when you learn something about other cultures other than your own, right? Yeah, right. I think Absolutely. that makes you a better person. So and that's you great. You mentioned the folks in Belton because they're tying in too yes. later on during the yes. three months, right? Right. Okay. And you did ask about free. Most of these events for the next three months are free. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. So if, if there's a program you want to go to, not many of them are paid, correct? Mm -hmm. uh, most They're almost free. all free. Yeah, I know the Great. Anderson County Museum is always admission free, but all the others are also. And it's a great time, too, to get folks into Anderson County because uh, over the past year, we've been doing so many stories on Anderson County. It's been really eye-opening to mm -hmm. learn of some of the things that you didn't, never knew existed right. in Anderson. So this is great. And this, this story will be posted later to AndersonSCLiving.com. If you're ever interested in what's going on in the Electric City, that's a great place for you to go and check that out and see a list of events because you guys have so much going on over the, yeah. the next little bit. What, with Sister Cities being the presenting organization, we're all about helping people understand other cultures through, mm -hmm. through ar the arts, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. cultural opportunities, business and trade, community development, uh, youth and education. And this festival will touch on almost all of those. You guys do such a great yeah. job thank of you. it too. So thank you so much. Thanks Happy New Year to both of you. Happy New Year. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.